there is um, a red alert happening right now in Jacksonville, Florida with Urban Meyer. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I know that sounds alarmist, <laughs> uh, you know, but when just four weeks in to the Jaguars having everything set up, they got one of the most successful college coaches with a CEO pedigree. He's the CEO of the sideline, and he knows how to set up a winning system. Right? He's written books on it. He's talking about it. He probably gives lectures, TED Talks, and everything about it. Leadership, all about that. And you've got that set up, giving him the golden opportunity of being an NFL head coach, extremely well compensated. And you hook him up with Trevor Lawrence, and the Jaguars had to be like, okay, hmm. we got this right. We got this right, and we're going to be the envy of everybody else in this league, and, you know, and let's go. The Khan family, as you know, Shad Khan is one of the most successful self-made people on planet Earth, on multiple continents. The uh, AEW is the Khan family, Tony Khan, his son, right? I mean, this is set up. And four weeks in, we get that statement from Khan, Shad Khan today saying that what his conduct was last weekend was inexcusable. And I appreciate Urban's remorse, which I believe is sincere. Now he must regain our trust and respect. I am confident he will deliver. And, you know, there's two ways to look at that. One is, you know, the glass half full way and the other is glass half full of lawyers <laughs> the glass half full way is like man we we had this we, we we got them to come off of the set in los angeles i mean the cowboys apparently were looking at him before and they and he said no and and so uh, you know this is this is what everyone if you're going to reach into the college ranks get the guy and we signed him, and, you know, we got to trust it. I mean, that video was ridiculous that an NFL head coach, a CEO of a team, a face-front CEO of a team would be spending a Friday night like that, even though he thought he was amongst friends and somebody shot the video of it and then created a Twitter account out of thin air just to post it, and now that Twitter account's gone, so somebody had it out. You could just say that was a one-off and we'll just trust it. And the other is half full of lawyers, which is, you know, put the statement up one more time, if you don't mind, Hoskins. The whole business of, you know, that was conduct last weekend was inexcusable. Conduct is the important word because there's a morals clause out there. And there's four cause. And that's the way you can get out from paying somebody in a contract. Your conduct violated our morals clause in the contract and that's it you're owed nothing so you want to go to usc go you're off the con payroll there's no dead money around here we'll find somebody else who wants to coach trevor lawrence and fly back with the team after going zero and four i mean that's what that looks like to me the uh, the problem about gaining trust and respect how do you do that because it's not a bunch of kids that you have signed to letters of intent. These are grown men who have been in this league a long time, some of them, and others who want to make sure that the opportunity that they have right now is one that will be lasting. I mean, NFL stands for, as we know, not for long, and the average career is four years. And how are you going to gain the trust and respect? How can you tell a team, hey, on this bye week, whenever their bye week is, you got to be careful. Don't do anything stupid. Mm -hmm. When you've admitted, I did something stupid. He even said in his contrite apology in front of the media yesterday that he told Trevor Lawrence, hey, you're going to your bachelor party in Vegas. Be careful. I mean, how hollow does that ring? Well, you got to earn the trust and respect. Here's also the problem. Chris Long, our buddy, who's been on the show many, many times, had quite the tweet that he put out basically saying 
if I'm a veteran player in Jacksonville, I am now my own boss. Wow. <laughs> says Chris Long. Jeez. And that sums it up of the mountain that Urban Meyer has to climb to gain back the trust and respect of that locker room. Red alert. Four games in, I'm blown away. I am blown away. But you just saw that right there. 844-204-RICH is the number to dial right here on the show. We'll talk about it with Michael Lombardi, who sent out a tweet saying he's hearing about all these closed-door meetings. Our buddy Michael Silver put out quite a thread thread. as well, saying that players have lost the respect of Urban Meyer already. It's done. Done. Or lost respect for Urban? Yeah, it's just it's done. That he canceled the team meeting and he did his apologies that he said to the players. He apparently did it in, in position group meetings. He didn't want to meet with everybody in one spot. Which that didn't sound like yesterday when he said he spoke to the team. And that players are like, you cancel the team meeting, but so you, 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 you could do it individually, but you can't look us in the eye. I mean, like literally, this is what NFL players want. They want to be looked at in the eye. And the person who is in charge of their livelihoods and their careers, that the look in the eye is from a man that can be trusted. Simple. That's it. And if you don't believe that that look from the person who's looking at you in the eye, if you don't think that is from a trustworthy individual, that is a bond that is impossible. I guess I shouldn't say impossible, but very difficult to rebuild, which is why Chris Long says, if I'm a veteran now in Jacksonville, I am my own boss. I'm taking care of what I think I need to take care of because the person who's in charge of this hand on the rudder of my career and my livelihood... That guy's not to be trusted. One night in Ohio on a Friday night can just blow it all to smithereens. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.